Hello, this is Tom for Tabletop Tap Room. Today we're doing an unboxing video. Uh, and we're going to be checking out what I was told was the best D&D adventure to come out in the past year. And I thought, hmm, I respect the person telling me this and I respect them a lot. So what is it about this adventure? And I need to get my hands on it, maybe do a review and then the more I heard about it, I was like, oh, I really, I really need to see how this thing works. So I was fascinated to check this out. So before we go too, too deep, it is Music of the Spheres is Chaos. By, uh, it's a DCC adventure by Goodman Games. And um, I just want to say to my subscribers, thanks for subscribing. Thank you. Um, please don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, hit that like, subscribe, and bell icon. Help me build the channel. And uh, moving right along. So uh, let's change our camera view. I just want to say that super impressed, Goodman Games. I ordered this, uh, I think, a week and a half ago. It is a hefty box. I was going to weigh it, but the batteries are dead in our bathroom scale. I don't know how much this weighs, but it's there's a lot there. It's uh, $64.99 is the price. And... You're getting a lot. Your uh, pound to dollar ratio on this is super, super high. Um, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. The box construction is rugged. This is not a cheap box set. This is not a box set that's going to be prone to getting crushed. So super impressed with that. Now, the uh, when I opened it, I've reset this box, as I said. Uh, to the same order of things when I did the original unboxing video done on my phone, and it was a terrible video. But So these are the maps. This is the, the sphere maps, and they're, they're mounted on – this is mounted on a board, and then these other spheres are mounted, and things turn. You know, things turn in this adventure according to – uh, how an artifact is turned in game. And so there's, it's just, um, there's, you know, cuckoo, kachu going on. And I was very curious to see about this. And I had watched a video about assembling the map online. And they showed you using these. And I thought, oh, I'll have to pop over to the hardware store to, um, I'll have to pop over to the hardware store to get some of these. But no, they came in the box. So everything's in the box that you need. There's no popping over the hardware store to get the hardware. Uh, it came right in the box. So we'll see more of the map in a minute. Now, when I first opened it, I did not know what this was. It's got like a series of um, conditions here. You got goat, worm, wolf, and lion. And there's some stats here that like things change. Um, the effects of the lion situation on cleric spells, wizard spells, warriors and dwarves, traps and monsters. So this is just a handy uh, quick reference uh, for you at the table. You know, so that when the, you're turning the map, you know what's going on and you've got something and it's not going to be confusing. The next up was this. Uh, music of the spheres these are all the handouts this is a player facing book of handouts artwork what they see the clues that are written now some of these clues like this are re um, that are important are reprinted as card sheets that you can hand to the players uh, but you've got this whole book full of illustrations and you know the artwork's black and white but it's great stuff and absolutely, oh, jeez, look at that. I did not see this before. Wow, that is cool. All right, so great artwork in, the, in this book of handouts. And again, here, you've got three of these where the clues on here are so important that you're going to hand this sheet right out to the player characters because the, I, I'm guessing, I'm assuming, that that's why these are included in there. So those were so much more important that you had to have full-size versions. This is the adventure book 
uh, Music of the Spheres is Chaos. It is um, it is 105 pages. It is 105 pages once you get past the um, once you get past the ads at the back. But all throughout this thing, there are is just image after image, um, artwork, tons of artwork, tons of stuff. All right, this throne is one of the player facing handouts. So this is kind of reminiscent of like um, Tomb of Horrors when there was a lot of player handouts. You know, it was, it was very much something to engage the players. So just an absolute ton of stuff to this whole Halls of the God Eaters. And just loaded, absolutely loaded. So this is what the, the big map is supposed to look like. And once I heard about this map and what was going on with all this turning because some artifact gets turned in game, I was like, wow, that sounds so cool. I need to check that out. Looking forward to digging into this to do the review. So, so that's the book, 105 pages. Now, this is the centerpiece of the whole module. And again, well-constructed box. That is not a box that's going to get crushed. So this thing, oh, ooh, my microphone... Now, this thing super impressed me. So this is your game board. And you're going to be putting these. You're going to get this thing assembled. And I guess this is going to be mounted here. These are all glossy, printed glossy and die cut. These are absolutely fantastic. So these are just going to go in various locations. I'm not sure about this. If this is supposed to go there, I think it's different. And so super, super impressed. This is obviously the centerpiece of the whole adventure. The players are going to be looking at this a lot. A lot of what's going on is determined by what happens here. Now, one of my observations is look how thick that is. This is well made. This is, my first impression was, it's like a board book for a toddler. You know, we, we have a, a toddler in the house, and we've got these, you know, board books. And I got to tell you, that board book is not as thick as this thing. You stop and think about it. You know, a board book for a toddler, I mean, check that out. Board book for a toddler is thinner. All right, and this this board is is like more hefty, more rugged in construction than this book, which was made for a toddler. Okay, toddlers destroy things; they tear paper, and so these books are made out of cardboard, and uh, they're designed to withstand a toddler. Okay, and you know, and so you, you know, toddlers will bring these books to you a couple of times a week. It, you you know, it's being read, it's being used. Um, it's getting rough use, and this this stinking thing. I mean, just, just get it open again. Check that out. That is some rugged, hardcore construction to that map. And and why not? It's the centerpiece of the whole stinking adventure. It's the absolute centerpiece of everything. So, based off just doing a quick unboxing. This quality, the quality went into this. They were Johnny on the spot with the with the shipping. The quality of this is off the charts. The box is rugged. This board, which is center centerpiece of the whole thing, is here. The hardware comes in there. Die cut, glossy cardstock printing. Uh, super, super impressed with this. And you know, I have a rule about restaurants you know when you go into a restaurant and if the 
dining room where the customer sits is dirty. What's the kitchen like, right? <laughs> one, one reflects the other. So if, um, if I go into a restaurant and the dining room is really clean and they're really meticulous about keeping it clean and organized, then I expect I've got a really good chance that I'm going to be eating good, clean food and, you know, no gastrointestinal distress, if you know what I mean. You know? So if, the, you know, if just doing the opening the box set here and this is the dining room. I expect good things about the kitchen. And what's the kitchen? The kitchen is the content, the actual writing. So if they were this meticulous about the quality of the product, they cared enough about the quality of the product, you know, what did they do for the writing that's in the adventure? I expect good things out of this. So color me super impressed with Goodman Games. So, Dungeon Crawl Classics, number 100, a level 5 adventure by Harley Stroth. Music of the Spheres is Chaos. This, uh, for a 100th DCC product, this was a great choice. It's got an innovative map that is like, yeah, I'm, I'm really interested. When I heard more about this map, I was like, I've got to see how that thing works just in case I ever want to rip it off from myself. So that was number one. It's an, it's an innovative map. It's a 100-page adventure. It's tons of extras in here. And I'm really expecting good things out of this when I go to do the full-on review. So bang for the buck. There's a lot of bang for your buck here. To drop the seventy bucks, I mean you're you know, one sixty four ninety nine plus shipping. Um, you know, shipping's cost of doing business the way we do business these days. So yeah, the drop seventy bucks. I'm excited. I'm really excited, and and uh, I want to give a special shout out to a buddy of mine named Scott, who dropped a little donation in the tip jar for me with PayPal, and uh, brother, I used your money. To, to buy this game. You said, use it for the channel. I was like, all right, we'll, we'll let that money sit in PayPal till we have something worth. And it didn't sit long because I heard about this from Professor Dungeon Master, and I thought, if he thinks it's good, I got to check it out. So this is Tom for Tabletop Tap Room with my unboxing video of Music of the Spheres is Chaos by Goodman Games, DCC, uh, Rules, D and D easily converted to whatever game you're playing. I'm certain. Uh, I'm super excited and can't wait to dig into this and do a review video. So this is Tom for Tabletop Tap Room. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks to my uh, subscribers and don't forget that like, subscribe, and bell icon it helps me build the channel. Um, and uh, leave a comment below as well. That's also good for the algorithm. So rumor has it with YouTube. And uh, as always, keep on gaming and do go by and check out DCC, Goodman Games. Check out their products. I am super impressed right now.